What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually had a crazy episode where we went to Skull Cavern, we actually got some dinosaur eggs, and then like lightning struck Jojo Mart, or what's left of Jojo Mart now, and you guys actually left comments saying, hey, you can actually walk inside of there now, like, like, I guess it struck the door and like the doors like cracked open now so we definitely have to go over there and check that out as well as uh, i kind of want to check up on the rabbits again and see if they actually laid or like lost a foot or whatever or it's just more wool or whatever like we saw at the end of last episode because i do want to give that rabbit's foot to the truck driver guy just to make sure you know in case he ever disappears or anything like that because it's heckin abandoned why would he still be there right but he's still there right now so might as well uh, try and get the rabbit's foot as soon as possible but this episode we're also going to be harvesting our pumpkins and there's nothing happening on the calendar right there uh, but it is raining today and i do want to move around some of the lightning rods uh because you guys kept on saying hey you know if you put a lightning rod in you know like grass or whatever it'll make sure it doesn't like disappear or get eaten or anything like that so but we'll put a few more of them in the uh in the farm area but but the report is it still going to be raining tomorrow it's not uh let's check up on the fortune teller the luck today is going to be good humor today hey that's actually pretty good what do we have i, I think we had either neutral or like mildly perturbed something like that it wasn't good though yesterday uh, or last episode or whatever but oh yeah, yeah yeah and then we also got some iridium i definitely want to start smelting that because it takes forever in the uh in the furnaces and you guys actually reminded me saying yeah you do need five iridium bars for willie's uh boat as well as five batteries we have three of them right now hopefully tomorrow at the end of, at the end of the episode uh lightning is going to strike those lightning rods we can get two more of those right so that's going to be pretty good but let's get those smelting because they take forever and i'm curious to see how long they actually do take so how long does that take that takes uh, eight hours. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer than that, honestly. So actually pretty good there. Uh, but anyways, check up on the mail. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got something from Abby. So I guess we'll see what Abigail wants here. Hi, Waffle. One of these days, you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something, Abigail. So yeah, that's probably for being like maximum friendship with her because it was her birthday last episode. We gave her an amethyst. So I'm sure this is like another heart event or something like that, right? And we have another mail right here. From Evelyn. Ooh, giving me more cookies there. <laughs> Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something for my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Well, I guess if it did, then hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? <laughs> Don't shut down my channel for that terrible joke. Anyways, there you go. Evelyn gave us some more cookies right there. I want to see if they're actually good, though. Uh... 90 energy and 40 health. I guess I can keep them on me in case I'm like, I actually went to bed at a normal time at the end of the last episode. So we have full energy right now, which is pretty good. And yeah, we still have the 200 hardwood in our inventory. And we need to donate that to the museum. And we already have one of the dinosaur eggs incubating inside the coop right now, the deluxe coop. So you guys actually left comments saying, yeah, once the egg hatches, uh, like the dinosaur is going to like produce eggs like every week or something like that. Anyways, so it's not going to be really worth it to, you know, keep this one around. We might as well donate it, right? So that's good. Uh, some of you guys also commented because we did get another prismatic shard last episode. Uh, oh, yeah, this one right here. So this one's not in the grass. If I want to move this out into the grass to make sure, you know, it, it kind of like that one right there is preventing. I guess that's a, yeah, that's a good spot. You can put another one up there or something like that. Uh, just to make sure there's always going to be grass here, even whenever the animals are out and about, right? But for right now, let me get my morning brew. Oh, yeah, we have our axe currently being upgraded right now. I think, is it going to be done later today or maybe next episode? I'm not 100% sure. Man, we got two wool again. Ah, whatever. It was it take four days? I, th I think it takes four days in order to you, uh, in order for you to get another rabbit like harvest. I guess you could describe it as so. Man, I guess I have to put them all up in here again. Hey guys, real quick, this is Waffle from the future. I want to give a shout out to someone who did a super thanks on the last episode of Stardew Valley. So a big thank you to Planet 4546B is or biz <laughs> for the 40 Indian rupee super thanks on last episode of Stardew Valley. And if anyone else wants to do a super thanks just like them and give extra support to the channel, click on that thanks icon below the video. It looks like a little heart with a dollar sign inside of it. And I'll give you a shout out on the next episode of Stardew Valley. And with that, let's head right back into the video. And I also got a comment saying, hey, if you're going to be, you know, marrying Penny on like episode 100. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. Uh, 185 hay right there. We have like a little bit under 200 in the silo. You guys also commented saying I need to uh, buy another silo, but we have 185 right there. Another 100 or so in storage. Another 200 or so inside the silo. I don't know if that's enough. It might be. But yeah, I haven't even harvested like... Well, I'm not going to harvest that, obviously. We're going to get maybe 50 more from the uh, from the wheat right there. Uh, then we also have... Oh, man, the grapes over there are done, too. Uh, oh, yeah. What, how, long is, how long is a pumpkin... Or, uh, yeah, a pumpkin... How long does that take it? Golden pumpkin! What? It's valuable. It has no other purpose. 
Oh yeah, didn't we get that one time? I forgot when we got that. Uh, but a oh, pumpkin, pumpkin mask. Pumpkin seeds, how long does they take? 13 days. So yeah, the 15th, yeah, tomorrow would be the latest. We could actually, so may maybe today we could actually go buy a bunch of uh, seeds. Just, just so we already have them and we could uh, plant them in preparation to... Okay, yeah, grab all the cranberries there. Is there anything else here? Bok choy, is anything else done? Oh yeah, the, the grapes over here. I literally just said that they were none, so let's take care of them. And it looks like we have a little bit more row. Let's make sure we don't accidentally grab a pumpkin. Yeah, there you go. Cool. No corn is done. And we just have the row over here. Yeah, so let's grab that. Boom. And I don't know if anything in here is done yet. Oh, well, the coffee's actually done for one. Hey, nice. All right, I, I might as well uh, also, my inventory's full. Yeah, like, I also actually uh, get these going. Here we go. Just to make sure this area is watered and whatnot, right? Just in case I ever want to plant anything, I don't have to, like, till it or anything like that, right? So, anyways, uh, my inventory is basically completely full right now, so. Man, I need to come back here and grab the coffee. Yeah, so that's, that, that's like the regular no-star coffee. And someone said something about, uh, I, I might need to get rid of that obelisk because we did feed the skeleton guy in the desert. We did a lot of things last episode. Golly, I'm still, like, catching up on everything, but, uh, oh, yeah, I need to sell some stuff, too, but we can put up all the gold star, silver star, etc. up real quick. Uh, but we got another letter in the mail, right? This one? You found another note in the Sand Dragon's eye. It seems Mr. Key's strange scavenger hunt has come to an end. I didn't read this yet. Golly. Inspect the lumber pile beside your house. Okay, yeah. We'll do that. And someone said I might need to get rid of this teleporter right there. At least maybe temporarily. Uh, I was, oh, yeah. So we're going to sell the mayonnaise. We don't want to sell it. Yeah, I'll sell it overnight. I don't think we need to hold on to it and sell it to Pierre and get the money immediately, right? So there we go. Uh, probably should have put those up. And then the cookie as well. Then we'll donate the dinosaur egg too. And uh, th these are going to be done later in the day. And I don't know if Willie's still going to be open by the time those are done. Man. Let me, let me put up some of the stuff, uh, like cookies and whatnot, up real quick. Oh, whoops. Espresso. Yeah, let me keep a few on me. And uh, raw ingredients go inside there. Cool. Sweet fish row. I don't know if we have any. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Some of the wine, uh, some of the kegs are done. Yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah, so those are done. So I, I guess I'll put one of them up. Or some of the. So what is that? That's melon. I don't know if we have any uh, melons left over. Yeah, we only have one. Ooh. I might want to go check my, my fridge to see if we have any more, like, like Silver Star Melons or... Uh, I don't know. But, uh, the row. You want to put that in the preserving bin, right? Yeah, preserves jar. So we can't do that yet. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to want to make more of those. Oh, the traveling trader person's here today. Yeah, Sunday. And, yeah, today is... Because today is Sunday. We can actually trade those jades for more staircases. Yeah. So if we want to get more preserving... We have 20 coal. We did get a, uh, a minecart last episode in the Skull Cavern. So we got a little bit of extra coal there. So we could probably make one more... Uh, maybe even two more preserved. I don't know how much wood and stone I have now. So, oh yeah, I've got, I've got plenty. Okay, yeah. Well, let's get more preserves jars. And uh, while we're out and about, yeah, I guess we'll have to get rid of this teleporter here too. So let's get rid of this. Man, there's a lot of stuff I'm doing right now. Let's do that and let's see if there's anything in here now. Whoa, what's that? What do we get? We got like a, under a piece of wood, you found a club card. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. What is that though? Hold on. In here, yes, it is club card. Yeah, see, it doesn't tell you anything. It just says, "Oh, it's a rusty key. Oh, it's a dwarvish translation." And I've gotten almost everything here. It looks like there's only like two or th three, maybe four more slots that are open there. We're actually getting pretty close to maxing that out there, you guys. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Maybe I'll just. I guess I can place that back down. Can I place that back down? Or can I? Yeah, you have to place it there, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, let's go grab like maybe silver star melons or anything like that over here. Yeah, we have plenty of those. Yeah, grab those. And then we'll use those for uh, more stuff as well. So let's go make the kegs if we can. Uh, let's get the stone there and let's see. Or not the kegs. Preserving jar. Because we have plenty of kegs. We went out that many uh, preserving jars. Uh, there you go. I can make, yeah, I can make two of them right now. Out of all the wood and whatnot. Yeah, let's get that going there. And can we make any kegs? I can. I can make two of them. Out of the wood, the copper bar, iron bar, and oh, great. I guess we'll do that, yeah. Because uh, we, we do have coffee beans that just finished up as well, so... I still need to go grab those over by the, uh, whatever it's called, too. Is there anything else in my inventory? I guess I'll put that back up. And the coal. I guess I'll put the coal back up. And we'll sell the wine in the, uh, in the thing. We do have a lot of Omni Geodes. Well, Clint, yeah, Clint is upgrading our, th yeah, so we can't, we can't have him open those Omni Geodes, unfortunately. Yeah, because he's upgrading our, uh, our hatchet, right, or our axe or whatever. So, let's go grab the coffee over here. Now I actually have inventory space. And then... Oh, yeah, there we go. Just suctioned all up right there. <laughs> Amazing. And let's go over here. Let's go grab the... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's put a wine... Let's put a melon here. There you go. Make some wine out of that. And then we'll make some more melon wine up here. And then looks like we'll have a second row here finally going now. So, there you go. Cool. And I guess we'll get coffee going in those, right? So, there you go. And there you go. Yeah, those take five each, which is crazy. Then, uh, there you go. And then we'll get the row. 
in the new preserving jar. And we actually have two of those. So we can actually give... There you go. So we actually have this first bit over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I forget? Yeah, I forgot to put a keg there. Did I ever get comments that I didn't put a keg there? Oh, wait, I think I think I purposely... Yeah, isn't that the keg I grabbed and put outside outside of the uh, thing to kind of indicate one of the stuff in here is done? Yeah, I think that's what I did. Now, is there anything else? Cauliflower? Oh, yeah, the cauliflower. Let's get that going over here. And did I? Yeah, I already put a melon on the one outside. Yeah, okay, cool. And let's leave all these pumpkins, because tomorrow we might actually get a giant pumpkin. So let's see, is there anything? Props ready. 109, yeah. I think that's 100 pumpkins there. And then 9, what would that be? Ah, it's not to really tell me what that would be. Unless they're literally all pumpkins. I don't know if that actually... Because I'm pretty sure it's just 100 pumpkins, right? Uh, machines ready, 18. Golly, where is that? Oh, I, I think it's all the cheese and all the... Whatever else over here, yeah. But let's check upon when, when the iridium is going to be done. I want to check upon that real quick. Because I don't know if we're actually able to go do the Willy mission. Two hours, ten minutes, it's currently twelve. Yeah, I, th I think we should be able to, but it might be cutting it really close. Let's sell the mayonnaise, sell all the cheese and whatnot. There you go, and let's go to the museum. Go drop off the dinosaur egg and the prehistoric ativ prehistoric ativia. And then uh, we have some iridium ore. I guess I'll keep that in my inventory. And then I'll keep the hardwood in my inventory right now as well. So there you go, grab all that. Or get on you. And I guess we'll go over to the museum real quick. And I guess we'll go via the minecarts just because it's going to be a little bit faster, right? And now we're over here. And yeah, Clint, Clint's busy right now. We do we do have good luck. We got a soggy newspaper right there. And I don't know what's in that trash guy. I guess I'll check real quick. There we go. And I guess we'll go to the... Yeah, I guess we'll go to the... What's it called? The beach. Golly, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> so we have a dinosaur egg. I guess we'll, it makes sense over here. There we go, dinosaur egg. ba -boom. We have a random tibia there. I guess I'll, I don't know. What is that? Is that a rib or... Oh, a new reward. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know where... Like, are those both ribs? I don't know. I kind of want to... It's like, does it say whenever I reorganize this or? Yeah, it doesn't say what that is. So I guess I'll just leave that there. So there you go. Let's see what our reward is from Gunther. Like rewards and we got a sloth skeleton right. Place does it. Oh yeah, don't we have? We have like a rib or like a head or something like that. And someone also commented saying, why don't you read these other books over here? So I guess we'll read, oh wait. Yeah, we just read that one. There you go, read this one. Note from Gunther. Wow, this library has really become great. Thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. Oh, nice. Thank you very... Or, you're welcome, I guess? <laughs> oh, and what's this? Ancient alien language. Solakulanpa inura koto ulan koto ulan maba belunu ratiba omi walo nimo dapulan koto kwai maboawa yoba omi solak awalan nomi omi nimo solak teba ra awa nimo gawa inu beluan nimo teba omi yoba bel omi zi. I don't know who just did that, uh, who just read that out loud right there. Maybe an ancient alien did, uh, who knows? <laughs> I certainly don't know what it said. I don't know why, why did I read these any sooner? It's, it's so, like, it's like I was expecting these to be like multiple pages books that take like 10, 15 minutes to read on their own, but no, they're all just short little notes. I guess I'm glad that I finally got these out of the way, right? Saw something weird in the tunnel leading out from Pelican Town. There's a little door hidden in the dark. Couldn't get it open though. What do you mean? Heading out from Pelican Town. Is he talking about the... There's like a little panel or whatever right there on the road. We already repaired that a long time ago. Is that what he's talking about? Or is he talking about something else? That's the only tunnel I can think of. But hey, at least we have all the books read for once, right? <laughs> so anyways, let's get another espresso going. And uh, what time is it? 1.30 right now. I guess we'll go home. We'll check up on... Yeah, let's go to the bus stop. Let's go check up on the Iridium Bar, see how those are doing. If they're doing well, then that's going to be... Uh, we, could, we could just go drop off all the hardwood and radium bars and all the kind of jazz and hopefully we're going to get more uh batteries later today as well but for right now when when's those when are those going to be done 50 minutes yeah we have plenty of time it's going to be like 3 or so p.m by the time those are done so let me just uh roam around our farm temporarily uh it's 250 right now i think and, and by the way i'm not seeing any other crops that are done any more by choy other than of course the pumpkins and whatnot and there are the iridium bars so there you go uh where is our horse there he is right there it's 3 p.m right now i think willie closed at five so if i just head all the way down to the beach uh, is there a mission over here yeah do we have a mission uh delivery seaweed i don't know if we're going to I, I guess i could go fishing temporarily and get emily a seaweed but i'm pretty sure we have that in storage. I don't know where... Oh, yeah, she's in the... Yeah, she's in the... What do we call that down there? The saloon, so... She's going to be available, like, pretty much all night, so... That's going to be easy at 3.40 right now. Is there any, uh, forageables on the beach? I'm not seeing any right now. Man. Let's just go get... Let's go hand these into Willy real quick. There you go. Willy, Willy quickly. Get that out of the video. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Donate the hard... Yeah, here we go. 200 hardwood. Boom! And yeah, just uh, as I expected... 
to repair with. Oh my gosh, I've got, ah, I've, I've got the, I'm, I know I'm getting comments about it. I know I'm getting, I, I should have kept the three iridium bars in my inventory. Whatever, not that big of a deal. Willie, do you have anything to say here? Are you selling anything good or? Working Bob or dressed spinner. Oh yeah, I think we have that already. Oh, he sells the copper pan now. Interesting. So I guess if I lose mine, I can buy it again. So <laughs> there you go, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe tomorrow whenever we get batteries, hopefully, from this, you know, rainstorm and all the kind of jazz. Uh, hopefully we could actually have, you know, five batteries. And of course we have the five iridium bars. It's just that three of them are left at home, unfortunately. Now, is there anything here? There's actually nothing here. No worms? No shells? We got this crazy guy right there, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, what time is it? 4.30 right now. Is it? Is Penny going to be still available right now? I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should propose in the rain. Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see. That's too worrying about. Is there anything else I'm going to do? It's going to be for something right now. Oh, yeah. I, I guess we'll go up here. I said I wanted to buy a bunch of pumpkin seed. Get out of the way, Sebastian. Ah, oh, my gosh. It's 4.50 right now. It's 4.50 right now. Buy the pumpkin seeds. Oh, how did I do that? Okay, so... We get 100 pumpkin seeds, which is going to be $10,000, so there you go. And uh, we're down to 26,000. Is there anything else I want to buy here? Wheat seeds. We bought a, a lot of wheat and uh, bok choy last episode, so I don't think I have to do it again. Yeah, about the, the trees and whatnot. I, I guess I can buy other trees, because right now, what do we have? I forgot what tree. Oh, yeah, we got the cheapest one, so we didn't get any pomegranate or peach. I could do that right now and then get a little bit of growth in the greenhouse. Let's get the peach tree. Let's get the pomegranate tree. We have, a little, we have money left over to buy some more trees and whatnot. I think I'm going to save my money. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to save my money because I do want to upgrade the house eventually anyways. Yeah, so let's just save our money. We, at least we have that done. It's 4.50. It's almost 5 p.m. right now. So, yeah, it, okay. Pierre just finished up there. Oh, I didn't get the seaweed for uh, whatever her name is. And where's my horse? Did I just leave my horse somewhere? I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Hold on. And then there's Pam. Yeah, Pam's leaving. Golly, she was just standing out in the rain all day for no one to ride the bus. That's so sad. But yeah, 8 p.m. or after 8 p.m. that is uh, to go to Abigail's thing there. So uh, right now, but yeah, let's do, let's just go plant down those trees over here. So I don't know where we're going to plant them. I, I I need to pull up that guide again, basically, to figure out where. Yes. Yep. That's it. Okay. There you go. That, that that's where the peach is going to go, and then this one would go right in this corner. Okay. Cool. So there you go. Pomegranate right here. Awesome. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, what do we have all the trees actually planted down and growing and all the kind of jazz? We're, we're actually going to have some pretty crazy. It's going to look amazing inside here, you guys. This is going to be awesome. And it's 710 right now. So I don't know where my heckin' horse is. We have the seaweed for Emily. Uh, we can go We can go talk to Abigail or whatever at, after 8 p.m. So we'll probably do that after we give Emily a uh, seaweed. Actually, hold on. 8 p.m. Am I even able to go into Emily's house after 8? Because I feel like it closes at 8, right? Wait, I left my horse there randomly. What? No wonder I lost track of where it was. I know it's seaweed for Emily. I'm pretty sure it's for you, right? Yep, it is. Oh, you saw the notice I posted. It looks perfect. Let's see here. What do I owe you? Only like 60 or whatever, right? But just, at least we got it done. Yeah, 60 gold. Nothing crazy there, but at least we got that done, right? Here's knee truffle oil. Oh, yeah. Why'd I never do this? Hold on. Yeah, we have extra truffle, right? Do I want to get this done or do I want to keep it in? Yeah, we should level 100 in the skull cavern. Emily and April. Yeah, we still don't have a tree done there yet. And then those are all of our missions, yeah. I, I, I know the oil takes a while. I, I guess if we start it right now, we'll actually get some good progress done overnight. And we do have truffles in storage right now, but it is 8 p.m. right now. I go... Yeah, so what, what time does it actually close here? Because I'm pretty sure it closes at 8, like the actual building closes at 8, right? Did I come here too early? Was it like 7.50 when I walked in here, or, or what? Well, like, can I make time pass? And get on a computer? Oh, there's like an animal over there. David the guinea pig, hey! Full of clothes. Wait, there's a sword hidden under the clothes. I guess you could have figured that out earlier on in the game that she likes swords and all that kind of jazz, right? But yeah, she's not in a room or anything like that right now. If I if I leave and come back, is there going to be a cutscene or? Wait, oh, there's there's Abigail right there. <laughs> there we go. Finally, we got the cutscene right there. Okay, cool. Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. I want to show you something. What is it? What is that little candle on the ground? See this? It's called a spirit board. Have you ever used one? Uh oh. We're going to summon some demons in the game, huh? She just casually has a spirit board just out and about. Put your hands on the planchet with me. Uh oh. Now the spirits will guide us toward a. <laughs> Look! Oh, it's moving! Oh! I swear it's not me moving at all. Well. The first letter is I. I as in what? I? Next is a heart. There's a heart symbol on the Ouija board, really? Uh oh, I love. 
Wow, look at it go. It's spelling out W-A-F. Waf. Uh, I love wafting good sense into my nose. <laughs> I love waf? Wow! What in the world was that? Did she just swipe up the thing? Oops, I accidentally knocked over the ball. <laughs> That's what she did. It, it looks like she was like crying on the board or something right there. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally knocked over the board. <laughs> it's just a silly game. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. I don't know why my voice changed. Uh oh, she's like, oh, she's all nervous. She's like, oh, is he on to something? Does he, does he think that I love him? Um, uh, I have something to do. You'll have to go. Uh, sorry. Wait, why does she invite me to 8 p.m. to do this Ouija board thing and then be all embarrassed whenever it reveals her deepest target secrets? Can I go back in there? Yeah, I can still go in there at 8.40 p.m. right now. And I'm out of uh, coffee, so... Oh, she still has the thing up right now. So I, hold on, can I, can I interact with that again? <laughs> hold on. Spirit board! Whoa! It's kind of spooky. Yeah, I guess you could just mess around in here at whatever time. Interesting, and I'm pretty sure that means Abigail's like maxed out, right? Any good? Gus is higher up. Pam is higher up. Demetrius. Yeah, we're definitely going out to, to propose tomorrow. Pretty sure that she's closed, or like her trailers closed. Yeah, pretty sure her trailers closed. Oh yeah, the traveling merchant person. I completely forgot about her, unfortunately. Yeah, they they, they definitely packed up and left, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't do anything here, unfortunately. Man. All right. Well, man, that sucks. At least we have the Iridium bars and whatever else. I don't. Know if, do I want to go fishing right now? Is there any reason to go fishing right now? Do I even have any bait? I don't know if I even have any bait. Uh, I need to put some bait in that crab pot, though. I'll tell you that much, but... Hold on. Yeah, I haven't been listening for, like, panning for gold and whatnot. Oh! Oh, I got a hit! What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be something good? Let's see. Ooh, are we gonna get a perfect? We might get a perfect. It might be just nothing, basically. Yeah, look at that. We got a perfect. Cool. And it was a smallmouth bass. But it was a 25-inch, though, so that's pretty good. New record. But I, I guess maybe, man, do I want to go up to the mountains? It's 10.20 right now. It's probably going to be 11 by the time we actually get up there. Maybe even later. Do I want to go up there? And, and I don't know if I can pan for gold in my own little... Oh, wow. A bunch, a bunch of stuff finished up over here. Amazing. Awesome. Let's grab those. There we go. Like, pretty much every tree just produced something right there. I might want to make more of those taps, but... There we go. And then, uh, there's some... I guess I'll, I'll, I'll let that continue to grow right there, but I don't think there's anything else I need to do later today. And we got an iridium right there. I don't think we have a bobber to that. Yeah, we don't have a bobber that gives it an iridium. That's crazy there, you guys. Cool. Sloth, skeleton, or I don't know where the other side of that went. It's like gone. I don't know what happened to it, unfortunately. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff right there, but... Thankfully, it doesn't look like lightning. Oh, whoa! Preserve jar just finished up over here for the cauliflower? Looks like it. P pickled cauliflower just finished up, and yep. Wow, the pickled row up there finished up as well. Yeah, let's get the cauliflower going over here, too. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it doesn't... I think the uh, the melon juice finishes up later today. Like, the, the other melon juice, I think those finish up, uh, yeah, 4 hours, 30 minutes from now. Yeah, it's going to be, like, 2 a.m. by the time that happens, though, so... Man. Ah, oh, that'll suck. Oh, yeah, I have to have one more cauliflower for the one outside, yeah. So let's get that going, and at least overnight we're going to get some really good money, but... Man. With, with me not really taking notice of the time and all the kind of stuff... I kind of feel like we missed out on a lot of stuff today, you guys. Like, proposing the penny and all the kind of stuff like I want to do, but I'll, I'll open up these doors here. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's move another lightning rod down here, too, by the way. Do we have another one? Just... Yeah, we have one right there. I guess I'll grab that one, and I'll move it down there, and then that's going to protect another uh, thing of grass. And there we go. Oh, yeah, I was going to get the truffle oil going over there. Yeah, I guess I'll get that started. And I'll uh, put one right here. So there you go, cool. It's getting late right now, yeah. So let's grab the truffle from here. How many do we, you we have two of them? They're both iridium quality, which is insane money. Well, 50. Do I have two oil? What do I need to get another oil maker? I could make another oil maker right now. Actually, I don't know if I have enough slime to do that, yeah. We don't have enough hardwood either. Yeah, I'm six short. Man. But I'll put this one in the oil maker over here. Maybe it'll be done in the morning. We'll get that done next episode. Maybe, I don't know. Is there anything else I want to work on right now? Because I'm pretty sure the, the melon juice and all that kind of stuff isn't going to be done in the morning time, unfortunately. So, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just cut a bunch of trash out of this episode and it'll be like a two-day episode or like a one-and-a-half-day episode or something like that. I don't know. But uh, we got a torch right there from that soggy newspaper, so that's good at least, right? We got a lot of random trash right there I need to actually either sell or actually make use of, right, golly? We got more pickled cauliflower and aged spook fish row. Yeah, how much is that again? 392. Eh, not bad, not bad. Well, 700 something from both of those right there. None too shabby. Let me put up the uh, extra iridium up inside there. Yeah, fingers crossed that we actually get uh, giant pumpkins as well as. Can I go to bed at a normal time? I guess I might as well. I think I already. Yeah, I think I already watered the cactus, right? So let's go to bed. There, right, go to sleep for the night. And yeah, I don't see the other. I don't see the rib cage of that thing over there, unfortunately. 
Day 14, a full year too. 17,000 overnight. I thought we'd get a little bit more than that. I guess not. Hmm. And we're going to be starting day 15, and we're going to be proposing the penny today. Let's see. Are we going to finish up the boat for Willie too? Let's see. Gold axe is ready as well. Awesome. Awesome. Boom. Water that. Yeah, I don't know when. Oh, wait, hold on. These have a. The cactus has an arm now. I don't know. If, I don't know when these are going to be done. If, if I do the thing over it, and I think someone's birthday is today, like Sandy or something like that. Let me check. Weather is going to be. Oh, wait. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Perfect for Stardew Valley Fair. Is that today? Oh yeah, today is Sandy's birthday. Tomorrow. I was about to say there can't be a birthday and a fair at the same day. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Yeah, I definitely want to propose to Penny today because we got the fair event going on. Yeah, it's going to be basically all day. It starts at 9 a.m. And then uh, by the time the event actually ends, it's probably, it's probably going to be 10 p.m. again. I don't know if it'll actually teleport me to 3 p.m. Uh, after the fair is done. But yeah, Sandy's, I don't know. She's like one of the people. She's like at the bottom of our list. We don't know anything she likes. So I guess maybe I'll play it safe and give her... Gold Star Hops or Gold Star Bok Choy or something like that, right? Something, something we know that's like a universally liked gift. And we got three torches right there. Really good. And we have a bunch of pumpkins. Let's go outside. Let's see. Do we have any pumpkins? Uh, giant pumpkins? Do we have any? We got... Oh, jeez. Abigail right there. I was looking at the pumpkins. We didn't get any big ones there, unfortunately. But Abigail's at our doorstep at six in the morning. Golly. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Uh... Oh, okay. Bye. I should probably shouldn't tell Abigail that I'm going to be proposing to Penny today, but looks like all of our animals are coming out and eating all the, the tall grass that grew overnight. But yep. Boom. We got the truffle oil for uh, Mayor Lewis. Fresh fruit, crypto note, Mayor's need. Yeah, bring Lewis. Uh, this is unfortunate because this is what, 1500 gold or something like that? Or yeah, 49 to 1. Golly. It went from like 1250 or whatever for the Iridium Star Truffle to only 1491 after putting in that thing overnight. Golly. Do we get anything good in the mail? Oh, yeah, it's just Mayor Lewis telling us about the fair tomorrow. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the one that put the uh, the Grange display. So, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to give Mayor Lewis a, a, a quest item of truffle oil today, and then tomorrow I'm going to embarrass him in front of the whole town with the purple shorts. <laughs> All right. We definitely want to prepare for that, right? Dear Waffle, I just wanted to remind you that the Sardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. So... I wonder if I could have just the shorts and nothing else. Like, just put it square center in the thing and nothing else around it. <laughs> Remember those fair stores at 9 a.m.? Yeah, we just read that on the TV. Uh, did we ever look at the weather? And oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, I guess it would be good weather. I don't know if I looked at the luck today. I guess I could do this on myself and it tells me the luck, right? Mildly perturbed today. Okay, man. Negative 2.6% to many random checks. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. But uh, we do have uh, pumpkin seeds and mildly perturbed. Mean, man, no giant pumpkins today. That sucks. I don't know. Did I get an apple and a pomegranate yesterday i forget uh, we do have a lot about choy done today though so that's really good we actually use the gold star ones for uh whatever her name is right so uh, let's see 7 10 a.m yeah I, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to replant all the pumpkin seeds and whatnot and i think the wheat's also good yeah the wheat down there looks like is that ready i don't think it yeah i, I think it's just barely i think it's going to be ready tomorrow it's not ready just yet uh, but we have a lot of uh, empty slots over here for me to plant down bok choy. I might do that later in the day. Just, you know, whenever everything's heck and close. But so far, none of these lightning rods have battery on them just yet. So that sucks. I know, so let me continue harvesting all the pumpkins and planting down the pumpkin seeds again. And I guess whenever we come back, go propose to Penny finally, right? So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Because today is Clint's. Uh, he, he finished up. And by the way, I do have coal. I guess I get some iron smelting over here. Yeah. Let, let me get that going, too. I probably should have done that yesterday, too. Well, let's get that smelting over here. But yeah, Clint, Clint finished up our axe or whatever, right? So, oh man, we're just short of a uh, coal there, unfortunately. Uh, is there anything else I want to get done no, real quick? But we do have all the pumpkins planted over there, which is really good. Let me go put up all the pumpkins over here. I, I need to go grab them. Oh yeah, if we go over to desert to give Sandy a present. I get, yeah, I guess if I'm going to do that, today would be a good day to do that. You know, spending 500 gold just to give her a heckin' present, right? But yeah, let, let me go put up all the pumpkins. Oh, wow. Never mind, golly. But yeah, so how how good are pumpkins? Pumpkin juice, that is. A thousand and eight. Man, that's really good money. Yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, forget this. I don't know if this is 16 pumpkins right here, but boom. Put these inside of here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, these are all just regular no star pumpkins. Might need to grab some of the silver star, gold star ones. There you go. Three more, uh. Yeah, I think, I think those are all of them right there. Amazing. That's like all of them right there. Awesome. Uh, we got a lot of money right there, you guys. Really good. 
Then uh, we're going to propose to Penny and all the kind of jazz. So let's go do that. Let me go inside. Let's go grab the man or mermaid pendant. And there's the mermaid's pendant. If this is the person you want to marry, let's do that. Let's finally, I can do that, you guys. Let's propose to Penny. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a crazy, like, like next like 15 minutes or something like that, right? So, and it was 11 a.m., 11, 10 a.m. That is. I guess we could sell. What in the world is that? Wait, what? What's Abigail doing over here? If I didn't have to work, I'd suggest we go on a nice picnic. Yeah, I, and I also want to go to the desert before like five or whatever, uh, whatever time Pam stops driving the bus, right? So definitely, definitely want to do that. There's Abigail right there. I guess I'll sell some of the stuff real quick just while I'm in the area. Just because I've got, uh, yeah, seeds for sale. Sell this. Yes. Because I had a heck ton of that. Now we're at the 47,000. I can almost upgrade my house. Oh, look at what materials I need for that. And then there's Marnie right there, too. I don't think I need to buy anything from her. Because we'll go south to Mayor Lewis's house. Give him the uh, the truffle oil that he wanted. I don't know if he... Is he here? Hold on. Where, where is he? I can actually see where he is. Oh, Emily's gifting something to Sandy. It looks like. What in the world? I never saw that happen. Mayor Lewis is up by uh, whatever her name is. Robin's house. Okay. So that's where he is. So I guess while we're in the area, let, let's go south. Oh, yeah. Another week. We have another special request. Which one am I going to? Oh, man. There's Mag Jelly again, or Fragments of the Past, calling all amateur paleontologists. I need a hundred pieces of bone for my studies. Please drop them off at the museum counter. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I forget what, what layers you could find the skeleton on. I think that's the regular cave. I don't think it's the, the, the Skull Cavern. Man, I don't know how many hundred pieces of stone. I don't know if that means I have to get it from now on, or if I could just get stone that we have up in or bones that we have up in the storage. I don't know, but I feel like maybe the prismatic jelly again. We could do that again, I suppose. It'll, it'll kind of incentivize me to go back into the mines some more. Because <laughs> we haven't gone there very often, except for the last episode or two episodes ago or whatever that is by now, right? So let's let's do the prismatic jelly one, I suppose. There you go. And uh, especially in the Skull Cavern where you come across a bunch of purple uh, slimes or what. Get out of the way, Elliot! What are you doing, man? There you go. Uh, but in the whatever it's called, I got so distracted right there. Man, we got a lot of uh, clams over here. Let me grab these. There you go. And hopefully we have some more uh, seashells or whatever over there too, but we'll check that later. So if it's noon right now, let's go, let's go drop off the iridium bars for Willy real quick. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, the buy batteries. I don't know if we could buy that from anyone though. We have a random crab back here. What in the world? Pick him up. Get him. He went into the water. <laughs> Donate the five iridium bars to repair the anchor. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Boom. Now we need the five battery packs for that. Yeah, and then the boat, I guess, is going to be finished. I donated 200 hardwood. I've... The boat still looks super dilapidated, though. I don't know what Willie's doing, golly. But uh, there's Abigail right there. Is there any uh, any shells or anything like that over here for me to grab? Let me go double check. Or just check in general. I haven't... Oh, there we go. We got a coral. I don't know if we have any sea urchins or anything behind behind that. Let's see. Nothing hiding. Yeah, I don't think so. Man. All right, let's get back on our horse. Let's go. Let's go. Heck, and propose to Penny, I suppose. <laughs> and then also check up on the, uh, the map and see where Mayor Lewis is. And then, yeah, let's go grab our axe, too. Golly, there's a lot of stuff I'm doing right now, you guys. It's insane. And we got to, whatever his name is right there. Uh, let's go Let's go get our axe, because we're, like, right in the area. Let's go grab that real quick, and then go across the river to go heck and propose to Penny or wherever she is, right? So there's Clint. Oh, we got the gold axe! Awesome! And let's put that right there, receive the gold axe. Also, I kind of want to cut down a tree now just to test that out a little bit, right? Uh, where in the world was I keeping this before? Oh, yeah, I was going to sell them the star shards. That, that finished up, too, off-camera. Uh, so shop. Yeah, I'll sell that for 500, so at least we get the money immediately there, boom. And yeah, he doesn't sell, he doesn't sell batteries. I don't know who would sell batteries, process geos. I guess we'll get this going here, see if we get anything good. Whoa, what's that? Calcite? I think we already done it, yeah. Hold on. Well, it doesn't tell me right now, but I'm pretty sure we already done that. Five copper, eh, it feels like coal or whatever, I'd probably... Ten copper, eh, same thing there, eh, I'm not crazy about it. Mud, ugh, trash, or clay, whatever. Five stone, eh, eh, it feels like maybe 20 or a thousand or whatever. Clay again, golly. Come on, give me something good. Clay again, stop it, man. Five stone again, this is terrible, this is trash. Three stone, that's even worse. <laughs> Come on, this better be good. Ooh, a star shard? I'm like, hey, I, I guess I guess I'll go, that's 500 more gold right there, right? I guess I'll go home and go put the, uh, whatever that Omni Geo back in our Geo Cracker thing and get another star shard, I suppose, right? But. Right now, while we're in the area, what what luck do we have today? I don't know. I don't know if I even checked, but uh, it's 120 right now. Where, it, it, let, let me see where Penny is. Is she in the museum by any, any chance? Hold on. What in the world? She is not. There's Elliot right there. Where is Penny at? She's in her trailer. Okay, so 
I don't know if that's going to be a super duper romantic place to propose to her in, but uh, let's go do it anyways. Actually, you know what? If we propose in the trailer, it might be like, you know what? I love you anyways. I don't care about the trailer. I don't care about the living conditions. I still love you, Penny. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's, uh, let's go. I was about to check if she's still in there anyways. Yeah, look at that. She's washing dishes. And I'm, I'm going to get on one knee behind her as she's washing dishes and be like, <coughs> she turns around and sees me on one knee with a heckin' mermaid pendant in my hand. This is going to be so romantic. Let's propose to Penny. Let's do it. Ah, oh, she's screaming. 10 out of 10 hearts there. I said, oh my gosh, she says yes. The dot, dot, dot. I'll set everything up. We'll have a ceremony in three days. Yeah, so this is what you guys were commenting about. Saying in three days, you know, you want to propose now if you want to do it on episode 100, right? So hopefully on episode 100, we'll actually have the marriage ceremony happen, right? So you should have done that. And then she still <laughs> she goes back to watch it. She hasn't even turned around. <laughs> Waffle, I'm a little scared. This is such a big change. Don't worry. I'm really happy, too. No, oh, look at that. Cool. Can I gift her something, too? I'm like, I literally did that count as a gift. Hold on. It did not. What? How's that not count as a gift? And what does that say? Still says girlfriend there, doesn't say fiance now, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know if she'd like a coral. <laughs> I know she likes, like, artifacts or whatever. I don't think we have any on us right now, unfortunately, so. Yeah, I don't think. And then we got the truffle. Yeah, so let's go find Mayor Lewis, too. And I, saw, I said something about, like, 5 p.m., right? What was I going to do before 5 p.m.? I don't know, but let's see where Mayor Lewis is. He's still up by Robin's house, so I, I guess while we're up there, we can actually check and see, like, what do we need to upgrade our house? Because uh, we have we have almost all the but what do we need fifty thousand gold we have forty eight thousand right now we could get the fifty thousand if I go home uh, we have the star shard on us right now it's another five hundred right now so that's basically forty eight five hundred and get the other star shard that's going to be forty nine thousand yeah we could definitely do that like next episode tomorrow whatever that's going to be right but it's going to be three p.m. right now I didn't hear a plop sound right there I don't think whatever I walked into here so I guess there's no gold panning for gold whatever but we got a truffle oil right here for uh, Mayor Lewis. You got the oil? <laughs> Let me see. It's high quality. Very slick. Great. Thank you. Okay, what are you going to use that truffle oil for, huh? I'd like to check in on local business to see how they're doing. And collect taxes and whatnot. Yeah, he's not saying that right now, but... Uh, let's see. Upgrade house. I think I might be able to call her? Oh, 150 pieces of hardwood, too. I am interested, but I don't have the money or the hardwood right now. I have like 20 hardwood left over, unfortunately. Wish I had some more, but what are you going to do? Uh, need to plant out some more mahogany trees, go back to the spooky woods more often, right? And we just donate 200 more of them uh, to fix up Willie's boat, so yeah. Could have done that, but whatever, at least we have the boat two-thirds repaired right now. We just need to get the batteries, and I don't think she sells them. Did I sell a battery to someone like Pierre, and I could buy it back for, like, double the price or whatever? Like, that might be worth it, honestly. I don't know if the, the sewer guy sells batteries. Maybe he does on a specific day, but maybe it's not the day right now, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess, I guess I'll go over here, even though I didn't hear a plop sound effect. So go over here and check. Yeah, I don't see anything right now, unfortunately. And there's there's whatever his name is, Lioness right there, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't hear the plop. I'm not I'm not going to waste the time. Now, is there anything else that we were going to do? Oh, yeah, the, there's the prismatic jelly thing. We'll worry about that some other time. There's, oh, we got 750 gold right there. I didn't even know how much we we're going to get in the first place, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> Emily and Apricot. Oh yeah, something about Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go over to the to the desert. Yeah, to give a whatever her name is. Oh, I should have gone to the minecart to go over to the bus stop, but whatever. Uh, we're going to go over there to give Sandy a birthday present, the uh, gold star, Bok Choi, so I guess we'll go do that real quick. We have plenty of money. It's not that big of a deal right now if we spend 500 gold. And I, I guess while we're in the area, yeah. Oh, wait, no, yeah, today's not Sunday anymore. Man. But I was going to trade the jades for the staircases, but yeah, it's not Sunday anymore. Whatever. Uh, maybe we can get more coconuts or worms or something like that over here. I don't know. I don't know if I, Oh, hey, look at that. There's a coconut right there. Cool. I guess I go grab that real quick. Let me get a... Let me get a coffee going. Wait, where's my... Where's my espresso? Oh, there it is. There we go. Cool. Let's get that. Or by the heckin' dragon skull thing. There it is right there. Boom. We got a coconut. Only one of them didn't get a... But it is a guarantee. Oh, another coconut right there. Cool. It is a guaranteed radiant quality, though. So that's good. I don't know what time her... Her shop closes, if at any time. Wait, she's got... What? Oh, my gosh. I should have checked up on the heckin'... Leah. Wait, what? What is she doing up? What is she doing up there all of a sudden? And we got another. I don't think that coconut was there like five seconds ago. She's up here with Emily, apparently. This must be like a special birthday event or something like that, but uh, I don't want to gift you anything, but. Uh, oh, wait. But yeah, what are you guys doing here? Phew, it's hot. Yeah, tell me about it. We're in the desert. It seems like a good day to go swimming. It's probably nice and cool in there. Yeah, are you going to jump in? 
Phew, it's hot again. It always seems to stay a little cooler by the lake. Well, that makes sense why you're over here, right? It's good to get out of the house now and then, yeah. It always seems to... Yeah, nothing there. And let's gift you a bok choy for your birthday. <laughs> you remembered my birthday? <laughs> Thank you. This is great. She went from one heart up to three. That's really... I'm glad I did that right there, you guys. Even though it's a universally liked gift, it wasn't like anything special, honestly. Uh, she probably jumped up a ton. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, look at that. She's like sixth or so from the bottom now instead of like literally the bottom. <laughs> yeah, her and Alex were both one heart at the very bottom. Even Krobus is higher up, which is crazy. Even Haley. <laughs> Anyways, and then yeah, same thing with the dwarf. Yeah, you guys kept commenting. I need to just keep talking to the dwarf, keep talking to the Grobus, and then if, I, if they get high enough, I'm going to get a cutscene with them too. So, oh wait, hold on. There's a, they're shimmering right there. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Hold on. Is that, is that working? Copper and coal. That's it. Really? That's it. That's nothing. Well, at least I get the heckin' pan for gold for or pan for trash for once, right? Golly. 